Hey guys, welcome to another review from yours truly, the Texan Camper Gear Review. Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool knife that you can pick up from Amazon. Um, this is a tactical knife that has a very, very cool factor to it. As you can see, this knife is a very aggressive tactical knife. A uh, couple features to point out about this knife. Overall length on this knife is 11 inches. The blade length is about 6 inches long and the handle is about 5 inches long. If I'm not mistaken, the handles are a G10 handle. They are removable with bolts, which is a pretty cool factor because you can clean your knife if need be by removing these handles here, these four bolts four on each side. It has a Tanto style point to it, very sharp for piercing. This is strictly a tactical knife and the only reason why I say that is because of the handle. It's got a beautiful palm swell to it. You can see thickness there. So when you're holding this in your hand, it's very comfortable, feels really good. So if you're getting down and dirty in a fight, this knife is not going anywhere. You've got a finger groove that slides in like so. So when you pierce and you pull back, it's almost like a really good trigger. It pulls back. This knife is not going to come out of your hand. Very very good handle. One of the main reasons why I bought this knife is because of the handle. The handle alone is what separates this knife from the others. Look at that. That finger guard is huge. I'm sure that's probably for protection of your finger in a tactical fighting situation when another knife comes close, comes down right there, your finger is guarded. Now it does have a couple holes as you can see here and here. I'm not sure exactly what you would use that for, but it could be used for lashing it to a spear or pole. Um, you do have a spot for a lanyard down below right there. They put this jimping here. I don't know what that's for, but and it's got a very large pummel. And keep in mind, this is a full tang. I want to guess that's about a quarter of an inch thick, but that's a full tang knife. The blade itself is very sharp right out of the box. It's got this curve right here. I'm not sure again why that would be in there but I'm sure it's got a tactical purpose. Maybe for pulling back creating a bigger deeper cut <clears throat> as you penetrate. But yeah so I wanted to show you this because I thought it was really really cool knife. It does have this saw like teeth here but these are not sharps. So this is not for sawing. This could be used for pulling, maybe pulling barbed wire out of the way. If you're in a tactical situation, you can pull the barbed wire with that. It can also probably be used for notching wood. This back of the spine here has got a little bit of jimping, so you've got you know good control of the knife. It's not very aggressive, but it works. I mean, it's pretty grippy. And the G10 handles feel really good, very grippy. But yeah, that's it. Very nice knife. Now you can find this knife on uh, Amazon.com. I'll put the link below. It's very affordable. Um, it's about 36 bucks shipped free. Uh, I think that's part of the package with their deal on Amazon. If you buy over a certain amount, you get free shipping. Um, yeah, so this is... The steel on this, according to the description, is a 440 steel. So it's not the highest quality of steel. Um, you cannot use this knife for bushcraft. You could if you wanted to, um, you know, for making uh, feather sticks. Now, batani would be difficult, and the reason why I say that is because it doesn't have a spine like your average bushcraft knife. If you tried to take a piece of wood and baton this, you would just tear it up with these teeth. There's just not enough here to baton. You could probably make it work, but 
with a knife as beautiful and as gorgeous as this, you probably won't want to use it in the field. This is really just an ornamental piece. I mean, you could use it for tactical if you're in the army, military, whatnot. I believe the original design of this knife is made by a company called Fox Cutlery, uh, based out of Mandiago, Italy. This company makes knives for the Italian army. If you go to foxcutlery.com, you can see a lot of their original knives. They're very expensive, but very high quality knives. I'm sure they use a lot better steel quality handles and such, and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, just wanted to give you a quick little review of this knife. I haven't seen this online or through YouTube, anybody reviewing it, but so this will probably be the first. Um, so you might want to pick this little guy up for, you know, I want to say it's like 36 bucks, 36, 39, maybe 32. I can't remember the exact number. I'll put the link below so you can go check it out at Amazon. It's not made. It doesn't have the same logo here. This is the Fox MD. I think the other one is Unlimited Tactical or something like that. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a very affordable, inexpensive knife if you're a collector. This would be something awesome to add to your collection. It does come with a sheath. This is a nylon sheath. Got a little loop here, probably to lash it to your leg. It's got a couple holes in it for lashing cordage to it. Another thing that it has is it has this little convenient pocket for putting extra accessories in here. Fire starter, matches, compass, whatever you want to put in there. It's got a nice little pocket. It goes down as deep as my fingers can see there I got two fingers in there good so there's a good amount of space in there this is probably about six inches by about three inches and the gap itself is probably about a good inch and a half and it's a velcro style and you've got this little tab here you can pull that quickly for deployment and the knife sits in like so and I like this sheath because it has a buckle style retention strap to it. I like the buckle styles because unlike Velcro it doesn't wear off and in a tactical situation this is very quiet. Just like so. Yeah, buckles are ideal for tactical. You don't want to get Velcro. Velcro is noisy. Especially when you're coming up in a situation where you need to be quiet and stealth. You don't want to hear this when you're deploying your knife. You want to be stealth. You want to be able to Pop it, pull it out, and get down and dirty if you need to in a self-defense situation, tactical-wise. So this will make a great military tactical knife. The only thing I noticed about this sheath is that it doesn't have any type of belt loop system. I don't know why that doesn't have that on there. But you have these little molly loops here. You can see right there. These are, I'm not sure how you would, would do that as far as attaching it to your loop, but none, nonetheless, this is a very good looking sheath. Um, other than the fact that you can't belt strap it, maybe you can figure out some type of D-ring system suspension. You can hang it on your belt. You might have to get creative on that part. But So I just wanted to show you that little knife that I found. I don't know where I originally got this knife at. But I found it on Amazon again, and I wanted to do a quick little review on it because it's one of my favorite knives. Beautiful knife, good construction. Like I said, it's 440 steel, so it's not the highest quality steel. Um, I don't know if it's stainless. They got this coating on it, so which I'm sure helps prevent rust or whatnot. The spine does have a good edge to it, so you could use it and make it work with a fire starter or your fire steel. It does strike pretty good to get some sparks. It's not the most ideal. It is a little work to get done with it, but nonetheless, it will create sparks for a fire starter. But, uh, let me put this down here so you can see. It's a gorgeous knife. So, there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you this cool little knife. Glad you enjoyed the video. If you like it, subscribe, share, um, all that good stuff. Leave some comments if you have any questions about it. So, Thank you for watching this episode from the Texan Camper Gear Review. Until we meet again.